Hey everybody, I uh, figured let's uh, build some terrain. We got an apocalypse game coming up in a couple weeks. So let's see what I can have done for it. Now this is terrain that I, I'm gonna try and make some um, more bunkers. And this here is just packaging foam that's used for uh, fuser rollers for the color copier that I have at work. And I thought that, uh, you know, it's pretty nicely shaped. Pretty balanced. So I thought it'd make a nice bunker. So what I'm doing right now is I'm cutting uh, foam core pieces to level out the top. And then so I can just, uh, it's going to take a while to do that, but basically this is like the end result is I want to try to flatten it out so that we can get models on top. Uh, sorry for the poor lighting, uh, I got my lamps repositioned so elsewhere in the house. So but um, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do here is just uh, level that out right now. And so I'm just cutting, it's going to take four, four of these uh, foam core cutouts to fill it up. And so then I'm going to need four for this side, four for this side, and then cut the same for that. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. And then once I'm done with that, I will uh, come back to you. All right. So starting of making bunker terrain. All right, so I got the, the tops put on them. Uh, just for speed, I used uh, hot glue. It didn't uh, deform the foam too much. I mean, it, there is a little bit of deformation, but um, nothing that will show on the outside here. Uh, found out that they actually are not exactly the same length. Like this side here is a little bit longer and this side was short so I did have some hanging over. That's alright because then I found that uh, this one here came with a lip and this one didn't. So I matched the lip a little bit. You can see that they are slightly different. You can see how this one tapers right away from the top and this one kind of it, t it tapers, but it goes out a little bit. So that's kind of so that's kind of cool. I'll have they'll be a little bit different as far as for looks. Now here, um, I had the the foam was cracked on this edge here, so this whole corner piece was kind of weak. I went and tried the uh, cancer glue on it, and let's see here, we can get a macro on it, but um. The, the glue actually ate the foam, but uh, it did solidify the crack, so it's it's solid now. So I'll just gap fill that with something. Um, maybe I'll use some caulking or something like that. So, um, but other than that, uh, everything else looks pretty decent. I'm gonna glue some woodsies on the front here for the doors. So we got a space marine here for size comparison. And let's just switch that back to macro here. So yeah, we got a space marine for size comparison. And I'll just put um, two woodsies up behind it for a double door. So that'll be the entrance to the bunker. And yeah, I think what I'm going to do next is just uh, coat them. I already got a coat here that's um, a part of one part uh, gesso, one part of matte varnish with just some black in it. Uh, so I figured maybe I'll just go ahead and 
get a base coat on it and maybe the glue and then gluing on the paint will um, help a little bit better at least it would definitely protect it from the glue once I do that and then after I paint it maybe I'll go ahead and gap fill that with just more glue because it's faster and easier all right uh, so that's where I'm at right now probably gonna do the coating with the paint and then come back in a, in a day or so so that the paint has um, so that the paint has time to dry before I start gluing anything else on it. All right, so back later. All right, so we got the um, we're in mackerel here. That's what we got. Let me fix that here. So I got the fan blowing. It's a little humid down here, so it's going to probably take a little bit longer for this to dry. But um, I don't have. As you can see, I don't have it completely coated. Um, I went a little thick on the first layer, and uh, I'm hoping that that's going to help texturize it. I am looking for kind of like a poured concrete type look for these bunkers. So um, hopefully the, uh, the 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 Gessel and the, the heavy uh, brush strokes will help give it kind of a, a nice texture. So yeah, we're just gonna let uh, these dry and uh, we'll make some more, probably maybe tomorrow. Add another coat, use a smaller brush to get into the, the, the other areas of detail. And then um, put on more, we'll glue on some other items to detail it out all right so we will uh, come back later for more thanks for watching